All right, this is going to be a quick video just on uh, more of synthetic division, but in particular when you're supposed to synthetically divide by a radical. If your divisor happens to be a radical, nothing changes, but you need to pay a little bit more attention to your work. Okay, because a number times a radical is just a radical, but a radical times a radical, you know, it could cancel the radical if they're the same, things like that. So you just got to pay a little closer attention to what you're doing. So let's say that we have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x minus 6, and we're supposed to divide by the square root of 3. Okay, so, I mean, you're going to go through the same motions. It's going to look like this. Most of the time, they're having you divide by a radical because your remainder ends up being zero. Because the, uh, the zeros aren't whole numbers. They're not integers like we're used to. They happen to be radicals, and that's perfectly fine. Now I just want to kind of go through this for a second. Obviously, drop the first number, multiply to get this. You can't add just a number with a radical. you got to separate them. When I take the square root of 3 times 2, I get 2 square root of 3. When I take the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, I get 3. You combine those two. That cancels, leaving you with just 2x or 2 square root of 3. 2 square root of 3 times the square root of 3. Okay, that's those cancel each other, leaving you with 2 times 3, which is 6. So it's not that big a deal. Just got to pay a little closer attention to to things because you're dealing with radicals. Now you try this one. Okay, there's your answer, sorry. x squared plus, yeah, so remember, this is our x squared term, this is our x term, and this is just a number. All right, so you have to parenthesize this and then put an x on the outside. Now I'd like you to try this one all by your lonesome. Pause the video. Okay, it's going to look like this. All right, now when you multiply that, whoop, when you multiply 1 plus the square root of 3, times negative 2 plus the square root of 3. You have to distribute the whole thing. Negative 2 plus the square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3 plus 3. You got a negative 2 and 3 is going to give you 1. You got two square roots of 3 that are negative and one that's positive. It's going to give you minus the square root of 3. Now you have another product that you have to multiply out. You should recognize that there, um, there's not going to be a middle term when you do this. You're going to end up with 1 minus 3, which is negative 2. And once again, your remainder is 0. So that's the basics on synthetic division with radicals. Adios.